Electric cars sound cool and green and techy, but what use is a futuristic and environmentally friendly car when there aren't many options to recharge the battery? Well, BMW SA and Nissan SA have taken up this issue. Juliet filed this report. Electric and hybrid cars are the new cool thing to have. The fusion of technology and good looks, with a helping of planet friendliness for good measure. But the problem lies in South Africa's infrastructure. It's all well and good trying to be all environmentally friendly and all that. But when you're stuck on the side of the road because your car's out of power, you will want to resort back to the good old petrol and diesel engines. BMW and Nissan are about to change that for you. They have teamed up to advance electric vehicle or EV and plug-in hybrid vehicle adoption in South Africa. They've signed a memorandum of understanding to jointly plan and build a national grid of EV and plug-in hybrid vehicle charging stations. Nissan's global drive has been to advance sustainable mobility and to grow the market for zero emissions. Nissan started the zero emissions movement in 2010 when it introduced the world's first mass-produced EV. The LEAF was named World Car of the Year in 2011 and, since it was introduced, has sold 174,000 units worldwide. We saw it arrive in South Africa in 2013. BMW recently introduced its EV, the i3, as well as the plug-in hybrid, the i8. Both models received global recognition for their innovative technology and low carbon emissions. In 2014, the i3 was named Green Car of the Year by the Green Car Journal, and the i8 was named 2015's World Green Car of the Year. The agreement between BMW SA and Nissan SA will see the rollout of direct, current, fast charging stations that are equipped with both the combined charging system 2 used by BMW's electric and plug-in hybrids and the charge to move system plug standards used by Nissan's 100% electric LEAF. The national grid of charging stations will also make use of smaller, alternating, current type vehicle chargers in certain regions. These chargers will be equipped with Type 2 sockets that allow the connection of all EVs and plug-in hybrids. So there are two forms of electricity that are delivered to consumers, whether in your home or industrial and commercial properties, alternating current and direct current. Direct current um, is able to charge much quicker uh, and hence um, is a more higher powered form of charging and will charge the car in, in, in about half an hour. Alternating current is the more ubiquitous form of, uh, of electricity in terms of the fact that the grid is uh, alternating current. Uh, you will charge your car in around about two and a half to three hours. Uh, it's a much cheaper form to charge and probably you will see more alternating, uh, ch alternating current charging points than DC charging points. Well, one of the things that needs to be considered when you're bringing electric vehicles to South Africa or to any market is a public charging infrastructure. The BMW Group firmly believes that the technology adoption cycle for electric vehicles in South Africa will follow the same curve as in other markets around the world. With our connected drive services, we are leaders in the connected car technology. With our drive now technology, we are leaders in car sharing technology. And with our BMW range of electric vehicles and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, we are leaders in electric vehicle technology. All of those are converging technologies that definitely paints a path into the future where Increasingly, the drive trains of our vehicles are going to be electrified. So yes, we definitely see a future in this. We've invested heavily over the last 10 years, uh, and we believe that this is what uh, the future of mobility holds. Well, LEAF has been on the market for just over um, a year to the public, and sales have honestly not been what we wanted it to be, simply because people are unsure. The idea with electric vehicles and living electric is to move off the grid, to use alternative power sources to charge your vehicle. We are all concerned about the electricity crisis. Um, what you must remember is that you only need 24 kilowatts to charge this vehicle from flat. So that is not a lot of electricity. It won't hamper your electricity, electricity supply at home, but um, the idea would be to move away from coal fire completely. We are teaming up with BMW and the fact that there are two reputable manufacturers that are in this game, many others ready to enter, I think it is convincing to the consumer that this is real. This is nobody's just a pipe dream thinking let's build an electric vehicle. It is a real solution for the South African market and um, it should convince people to go into the dealerships, test drive them, buy them and save money and save the environment. So it's still to be a long time before we get to see an all-electric highway, but thanks to Nissan and BMW, the future in South Africa is soon to be brighter.